Qatar National Library is a very important institution, not only for Qatar, but also for the region. One of the main aspects for Qatar National Library is to collect heritage material and to preserve this material for the future. The main goal of Qatar National Library by preserving this rich material about Qatar and the Islamic and Arab civilization is not only just preservation, it's much more. It's to give the scholar and the general public the opportunity to learn all about this culture and to know and learn about this culture's influence on the world's civilization and development. Here we are at the Qatar National Library, who is hosting a huge collections coming from Arab scholars of the golden age of Muslim civilization that had to deal with science and technology, but also with the studies of optics and the study of light. In particular, they host important uh, collection from Ibn Aytham, who was one of the scholars that contributed the most. Ibn al Haytham is considered one of the great uh, Arab scientists of the Middle Ages. I am showing now one rare item from our collection. This is a printed book, printed in Basel in 1572, and it contains two different texts. One is the Optica Thesaurus of Ibn al Haytham. have here is not the text in Arabic. What we have here is uh, the text translated uh, into Latin, most probably by um, another famous translator by Girard of uh, Cremona. Then later, centuries later, this translation together with another text, and this text is by Vitello, it's a European uh, scientist who lived in the uh, 13th century. He was inspired by Ibn al-Haytham and wrote on the same topic, also on optics. We are not only collecting here rare items, but we are also very keen to have the resources for researchers to deal with our items. So, for example, we have the material collected many years ago by the Frankfurt Institute, which are dealing with the history of Arab Islamic sciences. Qatar National Library is contributing by presenting three items during the Ibn al Haytham exhibition. Those items provide the glimpse and evidence of the transformation of knowledge between the Arab and Western civilizations. We are very pleased that the Qatar National Library is hosting these uh, wide varieties of uh, collection and books and, uh, and manuscripts and other material because it's a way to conserve them for future generations but also to put them at the disposal of researchers and, uh, and other interested people so that they can be transmitted to uh, future generations and they can be popularized and put at the disposal of the public at large.